Welcome back. It is 1219. All eyes on the Supreme Court today. Justices dropping a crucial decision on abortion. And we're still waiting on the blockbuster opinion regarding whether former President Trump is immune from criminal prosecution. Rebecca Castor has more. So the emergency room is there to provide health care. Abortion is not health care. Pro-life protesters on the steps of the Supreme Court letting the justices know they're not happy with the court's decision to throw out a case that pitted a federal law to perform emergency abortions against Idaho's near-total ban. They try to muddy the issue and confuse people by thinking, you know, that we don't want to give health care to women. That is not true. In a one-sentence statement, the court dismissed the case. We got a sneak peek Wednesday when a draft opinion was mistakenly posted briefly on the court's website. Justice Amy Coney Barrett wrote, too many aspects of the case have changed and rendered the scope of the dispute unclear at best. It's hard to feign surprise with the fact that this opinion came out last night by mistake. It was the ultimate off-ramp. Some hospitals in Idaho were sending women with pregnancy complications out of state because some doctors fear they'll face criminal charges if they perform an abortion in the wake of the state's near-total ban after six weeks. The Biden administration argued federal law requires doctors to give stabilizing treatment in medical emergencies, including abortions. And Democrats in Congress say they'll do their part. We will not rest until reproductive freedom is the law of the land for every single woman in the United States of America. President Biden is sure to make the abortion issue front and center at tonight's debate. But there's also another Supreme Court decision looming that could change the course of this election whether former President Donald Trump is immune from criminal prosecution for actions he took while in office. That ruling could come out Friday. It's going to be a heck of a day. It's, it's basically <laughs> Roberts has decided to hold the World Cup, World Series, and the Super Bowl. <laughs> We're still waiting for decisions on several cases, but there's no rhyme or reason why some rulings come out before others. The Chief Justice simply says that the decisions come out once they're finalized. From the Supreme Court, Rebecca Castor, Fox 32 Chicago.